Right now today, Leslie Chance, as you probably know by now, was released from jail last night after the district attorney's office sent the case back to detectives for more information. And 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis has been following the case all day today. He now has the latest developments. Murder victim Todd Chance was buried today, but at the moment, no one is under arrest in his killing. His wife, Leslie Chance, was the only suspect that had been arrested, and she has now been released. Leslie Chance did not go to her husband's funeral today. She couldn't go to the funeral today because I told her not to in case anyone would have hurt feelings. And I think that's been very hard for her. The Chance's daughter released a statement last night that said in part, quote, as we are grieving for the loss of our dad, we are also supporting our mother in this time of uncertainty, unquote. Did your client murder her husband? As far as I can tell, uh, and my brief meeting with her and her position, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, I'm confident that we'll have a very good um, case if this thing ever gets filed. The district attorney's office declined an on-camera interview today because they say the case is still being actively investigated. The district attorney's office says the fact that the case was returned to the sheriff's office and Leslie Chance was released from jail is not a sign that they arrested the wrong person or even that deputies don't have enough evidence. They say simply it takes a lot more evidence to convict someone than it does to arrest them. Prosecutors say it's not clear how long the additional investigation will take, but they expect it will be resubmitted and Leslie Chance will still be the accused suspect. More often than not, once you point the finger, it's hard to unpoint it, and it's even harder to convince yourself you were wrong. They also hope detectives with the sheriff's office will meet with the district attorney's office before rearresting Chance. They made an arrest too early. They didn't have what they needed to convince the DA's office that this case ought to go forward. In Bakersfield, Chris Ornellis, 23 ABC.